um, Professor Tiama Gitahi. I grew up in Karema, uh, sublocation in Odaya. Uh, that is uh, where I grew up and I went to school in the neighborhood. My academic journey has been uh, very, very interesting. Uh, went to nursery school. Uh, uh, those days you are required to go to nursery school, you are taught uh, the the alphabets and the, numer the numerals, you are taught all those things. And then uh, you would, uh, uh, when I was in nursery school, we used to pay fees. Uh, and uh, at some point there was no money and I had to stay at home for a while. And later uh, the teacher, the teacher is still alive, for nurse, my nursery school teacher, uh, had me back uh, to school. Now, to go from nursery to standard one, there used to be an exam you would do. But the exam is that uh, it is just on, uh, on, uh, on those uh, Manila paper and you are asked to identify this letter, identify this letter, identify this letter, identify this letter. Then this will help them to cluster you those days. Whether you are in class A, class B, <laughs> class B, class C. And um, uh, obviously when you are being asked those things, you don't know. So I ended up in class A, uh, for example. If you are, for example, class B, you will be in class which will be coming in the afternoon to school, others are coming in the morning. There were a lot of those adjustments, which class comes then, which class. And then even in the, in the class, you are again classified into, into column A, column B, column C, and within each column, again like that. And uh, obviously as a young person, you don't know, but the, the, the teachers, maybe they knew the purpose of class are new this way so that they see where to put emphasis, where not to put emphasis, who are the faster ones, who are the slow ones, etc., like that. Uh, so I went through the, the, the primary school, and uh, then after the primary school, I was admitted to, to Kenyatta Mahiga uh, High School, Kenyatta High School, uh, also in Odaya. And when I was admitted, I joined this school together with my sister, uh, who I had caught up with at this time. And my parents now are struggling. Who do they pay fees for? Uh, just like today, paying fees is not that is a challenge. Yeah. Uh, and even then, it was more challenge because getting money, cash money, was a difficult thing. Yeah. Uh, so they said uh, initially they took the the, the 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 sister, and then finally uh, they agreed to take me to school also. When I went to school, by that time, the parents did not have any money. But we found a very good principal uh, who agreed that I can join and then I pay later. And this is what happened. Uh, the good thing is that those days, the uniforms used to be given uh, in school, even exercise books and all that. So once you come in, you are given the uniform and you mingle uh, with the other children and start going to class. I went through the high school. After high school, uh, I was then admitted uh, to A levels uh, in uh, Nakuru High School. And in Nakuru High School, uh, it was a very uh, nice time there uh, uh, because uh, we used to be treated and fed very well. There was some time for getting milk, some time for getting eggs. <laughs> And then sleeping in a cubicle, you are wearing this uh, uh, Sanai jacket, Rosa, as opposed to wearing this short uh, <laughs> Kanyala. You know, and it was very, 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 very nice place. And after I finished, then I came to the University of Nairobi to do the Bachelor's of Veterinary Medicine. Went through the Bachelor's of Veterinary Medicine, and upon completion of the Bachelor's of Veterinary Medicine, then I I was absorbed by the University of Nairobi as uh, an assistant lecturer uh, the same year I, I completed, uh, and that is 1990. And I've been here in the University of Nairobi except for a short uh, sojourn outside in Ban when I was doing my PhD. Since 1990, I've been allowed uh, 
<laughs> studying and interacting with the student and stuff at the University of Nairobi. So when I I was uh, I came in as a Nasir lecturer, I registered for my masters and I completed my masters, and then uh, went registered again for PhD. But for PhD, I got a scholarship to go to Switzerland under the, uh, the Federal Commission for Foreign Scholarships in Switzerland. is the one that gave me the scholarship. And I went there, I did my PhD, and I was back here. In, I went there in 97, and I was back here in 2001. And uh, since 2001, I've been here uh, teaching and uh, then rose through the ranks in the university. Uh, then, as I said earlier, I was hired as a senior lecturer, moved to lecturer, moved to position of, uh, of senior lecturer, to position of associate professor and position of professor. Uh, that is as far as the academic uh, line is concerned. I'm, I'm, I'm married to Teresa Nogari Kiyama, uh, and we have two children, one a boy, and uh, their daughter, and uh, both of them are, uh, one of them is in the university, the other one is doing his own errors to, to make some money yeah. in some business, yes. Yeah.